updated your Mac or Parallels and now it just won't open. Well, you're not alone. This crazy error happens to a lot of Mac users after an update. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix it quickly without losing your setup or your data. So on my Mac in Dock IC, there's a tiny dot at the bottom of Parallels desktop application that indicates it is open. However, I can't access anything. There is nothing I see on my Mac right now. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to kill this entirely and to close Parallels completely, go ahead and move your cursor on Apple icon at left side top corner from this menu. Click on force quit. Select Parallels desktop in this window and click on force quit. Now Parallels has no dot at the bottom. So we know it is not open anymore. Before we go ahead and do additional troubleshooting, let's click on it again. And let's see if it works. Well, that's wonderful. I already see it is loading. If you get a prompt like that, click on allow. Simply go ahead and click on allow even if you have multiple prompts. In my case, just a one quick trick from Foursquit fixed my problem. Additionally, there are multiple reasons that could cause trouble like that. A recent update to your Mac OS or maybe an upgrade to your Mac OS completely changed the security setting. So that can block the older Parallels version. Parallels version may not be even compatible with the upgraded Mac OS. It may also occur because of a damaged Parallels application cache or permission issues. Most of the time it is simple crazy error caused by mismatched security permissions and it is fixable just like the way we took care of this within just one minute. So Parallels on my Mac now working perfectly well. No problem whatsoever. I can access my websites. I can access my applications. It's all good. Anyways, if this video helped you out, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe Crazy Editors for tech tips, tricks and solutions. Also, feel free to drop a comment if you faced any specific glitches and if your problem is still not taken care. I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Until next time, enjoy yourself glitch-free Mac experience and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching Crazy Editors. Have a lovely day.